Cheating wife woke up in tears and told me about what she did last night, but I contacted AP and his perspective made my hair fall out. So my wife and her friend went out drinking on Friday tea and she didn't come home till 4 in the morning, which made me worried sick. When she finally came home, she was very drunk and was almost being dragged by her friend. The friend had a guilty look on her face and asked me to be patient while listening to her account. I was of course alarmed, what account? The friend left saying it's better if my wife told me. My wife was obviously out at this point. So I also went to sleep. At around 11 am I am woken up by my wife crying and saying she has committed a horrible mistake and she is very sorry. She was hysterical at this point and I had to calm her down and finally after calming down she told me that she had gotten so drunk last night that she hooked up with a stranger. I was shocked as you may imagine, so I pressed for details, and she said that they had met two guys while drinking, and they were buying them rounds. At first she says that she turned the drinks down, but when her friend expressed an interest in one of them, they went to talk and accepted drinks from them. My wife was given the responsibility of keeping the friend of the guy busy, while her friend talked to the guy. Eventually after some time, and a lot of drinks later they went to the guy's home, and this is where she had sex with him. My wife says that she went there just to make sure her friend is safe, and she had no ulterior motive. She did admit to some harmless flirting with the guy, but said it didn't mean anything, sure. She was adamant that she didn't want to have sex with the guy. Then I said maybe you were forced, let's try to find out who the guy was first. I asked for more details but she again said she didn't remember. So I went to the pub in the evening and asked around and luckily the guy my wife's friend hooked up with was there that night too. I talked to him, and he painted a completely different picture of the night. He said he and his friend were very clear with both my wife and her friend from the start that they were looking to hook up and my wife or her friend never raised any objection. He also said my wife absolutely knew what was going to happen once they went back to the house. I didn't get to meet the other thing guy who hooked up with my wife, but I did talk to him on the phone, and he also said the same thing, both women knew exactly what the deal was and they still went to his house. I did get heated with him, but he insisted he did not force anyone, he was as drunk as she, and it was completely mutual right from the moment they started talking in the bar. He said I could check the security footage to see how my wife and her friend were acting that night. I tried but they wouldn't show me the footage without a police report. I don't know what to think here, my wife insists it's not the case, but did admit to flirting with him, those guys insist it was mutual. My wife doesn't want to file any case against them and I am at a loss. Only one thing is clear to me, my wife put her friend's sexual life ahead of our married life. Otherwise why go to a stranger's house after midnight? That is clear to me even if everything else is a mystery. Any advice on how to move forward? Update. I just wanted to make a little update before I get on my flight. After I made my post I realized I am just too stressed to stay near my wife, her mere presence was increasing my stress level. So I have decided to go home and spend the New Year's Eve with my parents, aka people who won't stab me in the back. My wife was distraught and crying hysterically but honestly my only worry was to reach the airport at time. She has been asking me to go to couples therapy, says she will give up drinking and she will stop going out with her single friends etc etc. But I told her I don't care, you are welcome to have an orgy while I am gone for all I care. I just want some peace and quiet and I am going to my safe space now. My home used to be my safest space and my wife was my rock, but now that reality has been shattered. Anyway she also decided to go to her parents' house, so she dropped me at the airport and was still begging to take her with me. But I need some time alone or my brain will overheat. And I don't know under what circumstance will I see her again, divorce or reconciliation. I have no idea. So thank you to everyone who commented and maybe I will make an update when I make a decision. Right now I just need your best wishes, thank you. Update. I am home right now. I am enjoying the cooking of my mother and have also reconnected with a few old friends who have come home for the holidays. We did some boating in one of the lakes that we have here, it was amazing. Being in the company of people whom you trust to not hurt you really helps you a lot. As for my wife, I am still not talking to her, 
except to tell her that I have reached home safely and will contact her when I want. My mom has talked to her once or twice, but they don't know anything. I have told them that we are just having some troubles. My parents have been married for 28 years, so they know better than to interfere in my marriage. Anyways that's all I have to share right now. I have not yet decided whether I will stay married or not. Right now, it's just to enjoy the festival of Christmas with my folks, and then I will decide based on how I am feeling then. Thank you for all your support. We have reached the end of the story. Let's listen to some of the comments by our Reddit listeners. Comment 1. To be honest, the guy telling you to check the security footage tells you a lot. Clearly your wife wanted some action before she even got drunk. She was somewhere that in my opinion, married people shouldn't be. Sorry this happened to you. Comment 2. They referred you to security footage? Yeah, you haven't seen it yet, but you know it's going to back up their version of events, though it obviously won't show everything. Your wife played wingman for her friend, hooked up, and is now trying to minimize what she can to save the relationship. Personally, I'd walk. Your wife knew the potential consequences, and she made her choices, now you need to do the same. Comment 3 So you abandoned your wife who is clearly remorseful over this situation at probably one of the lowest and most vulnerable moments of her life. Please at least call one of her friends to check up on her. My wife thought she knows my plan until I pulled up her videos with AP and now her own children can't stand her. I've been lurking here for a while and thought I should introduce myself. I'm a disabled vet and currently unemployed because of the pandemic. I had to stay home while my wife worked. We had just had our son right before COVID went down so he's one now. I cooked, cleaned, did the laundry, and did all the housework without complaint. I took care of our nine and one year old, making sure school went well, made meals, the whole nine yards. My ex and I both grew up in troubled homes so the plan was to be the parent we needed when we were kids. Turns out she had our last kid because she didn't love me anymore. She thought it would reignite something. She starts to work more which I support, we need money. Things start going bad with COVID, and we need to move into my mom's house, so we can save money, and she doesn't have to work as much. She's had a boyfriend since March, I had a feeling in April or so, by my birthday in May I knew. She didn't even hug me. I never felt so alone. Now, me and the kids are living at my mom's. She's moved in with her boyfriend. It's been almost a month since we've been here. My daughter wants nothing to do with her mom, my son doesn't even ask her for milk or cares when she leaves. They're over the initial loss I think. But I feel so alone. It feels like when you're walking with someone and you start telling a story, then you turn to look at them and they're gone. It's like that X100. 14 years wasted. All I do is work out, I'm finally under 200 pounds for the first time in years. All I can think is keep moving forward for my kids. Thanks for letting me vent. Now let's listen to some comments on this part from our Reddit listeners. Comment 1. Lawyer up, get a separation document drawn up, and get proof of the infidelity. Lots of lawyers are willing to take up the cause of a disabled vet who's been cheated on. Get documentation on child abandonment, make sure you are known as the primary caretaker. She will be on the hook for spousal support and for child support. Don't let her sit there and do things on her own schedule, she'll try to bully you. Get ahead of her, get crap done now soldier. OP reply. Aura. I haven't gotten a lawyer yet, but I have one on standby I think. My mom is helping with that, I don't have much income at the moment. X was the breadwinner. Love the advice and appreciate the lookout on my six. Comment 2. Man, I'm sorry for you and the children. Frankly, that woman is a pig. She is neither a faithful wife nor a good mother. Document everything for your attorney and get that process rolling before she comes out of the affair fog and starts the faux reconciliation bullcrap, because AP dropped her like a deuce. OP reply. Thank you. These babies are what's getting me through. I'm trying to be the man my daughter thinks I am. 
I like the advice for family counseling and will definitely look into that. I've been saving screenshots of her GPS movements because it was shared before and relationship statuses on Facebook. His status used to say that he was in a relationship with her since March, but I stupidly told her about how it's gonna be hard for her to explain that in court, and now it just says the date they started their relationship instead of her name. I'm building what I can for custody, although I don't make much for income, my mom is very well off and I'm hoping her co-signing me helps my case. X was the breadwinner. Comment 3. Sorry your wife is putting you through this. Stop talking to your soon-to-be ex-wife about anything except your kids. Don't show her your cards. Divorce is a battle. Don't reveal your battle plan. Your wife's strategy will be to go after the kids and try to pay you nothing. Good luck. OP reply. OPSEC, understood. Also we're not wealthy, just I don't have to worry about getting a job while I go through this with the ex. I've given her too much of my strategy, she knows of some of the things I have. She doesn't know about the video I have of her and her boyfriend leaving our house. I'm ready for any and all situations she might throw at me. The truth is on my side and her actions have been centered around her relationship. That's the case I'm going to put to the judge. She chose to live with her boyfriend an hour away, not finding a place around her kids. I'm going to argue the quality of care she's given our kids these past few months. And I'm prepared to hear the truth from my daughter, whether she wants to live with me or her mother. She said she wants to live with me, but I'm ready for a switch if that happens. Appreciate the ear, sorry for the rant. Update. So my ex's AP tried to follow me on Facebook. I immediately blocked him after taking a screenshot. I broke my NC to tell my ex. She couldn't care less, like it wasn't her responsibility to tell him off. I mean it's not, but I thought she'd agree to do it for me, but I got a whole diatribe about how she's getting better for the kids. Never go off NC, even if something triggers you, learn from my mistake. I was doing so well, it's been a month since last contact. I'm still mad that AP is trying to keep tabs on me, but I could care less about him. My anger stems from the fallout of my ex, and that time bombs like this are making it hard for me to move on. My heart is filled with so much hate and anger toward this woman I thought I'd love forever. Every time she pops into my mind, which is often, I curse her. I'm not like this, I'm not the kind of person to wish ill on anyone, but my ex fills me with so much rage. The hardest part is pretending I'm okay with her in front of my kids. I don't bring her up, but sometimes my daughter does. It takes every ounce of my being not to bash my ex, but I stay as neutral as one can. I'm not going to let AP's action here deter me. He already took my wife, he's not going to take my emotional balance too. They're not good people though, and I just wish they'd leave my kids alone. Update A few days ago my ex told me she was going to end it herself because our daughter didn't want to talk to her anymore. I think she went all of NOV not talking to her mother. A few days later the sheriff's deputy calls and tells me I have to turn in my wife's firearm that was registered to her because she isn't allowed to own one. Am I being naive and entertaining trying to reconcile? I unblocked her after she told me about being Zue asterisk sidle because you should always believe when someone says they have a plan to end themselves and we've been texting since. I can only assume she's still with her boyfriend and she's just using this to get time with the kids. I know I can't take her for her word, so that's where my mind's at. Either way, whether she's with him or not, I would consider taking her back if she broke up now. Under the condition that we continue with our divorce and I have on paper, 100% custody of the kids. I filed my response to her divorce filing and we're waiting to go to court. I also assume she knows she's not going to do well in court, so that weighs heavy on her as well. She says her family doesn't talk to her anymore, which is true, I still talk to a lot of them. She says she wants to quit her job where she met her boyfriend. So I would hope she'd consider getting a job in our city somewhere. We went to a drive-in movie with the kids tonight. Our daughter's therapist said she's afraid she might self-harm. That's the only reason I moved this fast. Both my ex and my daughter were going to self-harm and my daughter said after the movie, this is the happiest I've been in a long time, you me, mama and brother. 
My one-year-old is so happy to see his mother again. I'm just numb. I've been doing pretty well on Bumble, nothing really serious, but a few I wish I could pursue more seriously but nobody really wants to be attached to someone with two kids full-time. Not to mention what if after months of making a real connection with someone, my daughter would reject her and honestly, I would break up with them if my daughter told me to. My life has been going in the right direction since our breakup. I'm in therapy. I've been regulating my diet. I even do kung fu now. I'm not the same person I was when she left. Am I a fool for considering trying to fix my family? She goes to therapy and takes meds now, I feel like that's a big consideration. I'd like us to go to couples therapy as well. Things are moving so fast. If she's pregnant by this dude and is just trying to get me to raise his baby I'm out as well. There's just so much going on in my mind. Please help. Update. I've taken a lot of what you guys say to heart. And I love having your perspective because I feel like you guys understand the trauma. My WS is manipulating me into getting back together. That's what I learned here. She said she has tried to end herself three times since our separation. She says she has some kind of therapy three days a week. One one-on-one -on -one and two groups. She says she's on meds. I haven't talked to her therapist or anything but I guess highly depressive and codependent. She says she plans on leaving her job. She says she wants to get a place close by so she can see the kids more. She says she misses being a family. In my last post we had just gotten back from a drive and movie. The kids both miss their mother of course. Well. She's come by to visit a couple times since then. My daughter is so happy. She's the reason I broke NC, the school therapist told me she's afraid my daughter might self-harm. Issues stemming from her mother's abandonment. My son is happy too. I miss her, I miss our family unit. But it really never is going to be the same. I guess because I've been with her since she was 18 and I miss when she was obsessed with me. She asked to take me out on a date. I agreed because she's trying. But I know I'm not ready. And I swear on my children I will not have sex with her. I'd want a paternity test and an STD panel done first. I'm not going to be tricked into raising someone else's kid. I told her I'd agree to reconcile if we still got a divorce and I got 100% custody. I think that's my main focus at this point. 100% custody. That way if she is still with AP and that drama comes out, I have 100% and she can move on. I've also kept up with my dating apps. I won't get rid of them until I know for certain she doesn't have anyone else. In fact, I matched with a 22 years old yesterday, no reason I should be happy, but it was a nice ego boost. I usually swipe right on people way out of my league. So yeah. I know a lot of you have been through this. I know it doesn't work out for the most part. I've got to try for my kids though. I'm still, just really confused. When she says she's been miserable since our separation, all I can think is, ditch, you weren't miserable when you were cheating on me and leaving me and these kids for AP, if I were a younger man I think I'd respond with more anger. Nowadays I think to myself, how would my father handle this situation and I do the opposite. That's why I'm considering this reconciliation. I have hope that it works out, but I really just don't know. Thanks for letting me vent. Thank <laughs> you.